the beat of the heart makes us alive. Heart is located between the two lungs protected by ribcage as shown in the image. Generally, the size of your heart is approximately the size of your fist. Here, let us perform an activity to know the internal structure of the heart. Click each tab to know more. As the structure of all the mammalian heart is similar, let us take the heart of either goat or sheep for observation. To perform this, we require some materials such as freshly collected specimen of heart of a sheep or goat from the butcher, soda straws, sharp or long blade scalpel, tray and a jug with full of water, dissection scissors and forceps or 3D model of heart. Before performing the experiment, wash the heart thoroughly such that the blood is completely drained from the chambers. Place the heart in a tray in such a way that large arch like ventricle must face upwards. Take the soda straws and insert them properly into the stumps, base of the blood vessels. Place the heart in the tray in such a way that the ventral side should be facing upwards. Now, take a scalpel and open the heart in such a way that the chambers are exposed. It is observed that the exposed heart is in the form of a pear shape with triangle outline. It is wider at the anterior end and narrower at the posterior end. The arrangement of blood vessels, coronary vessels on the border of the heart are observed. Throughout the heart, the thickness of the wall is not uniform. In the lower part of the heart, a white colored structure is observed. It is observed that the heart has four chambers. On left side, two chambers, one upper anterior and one lower posterior. On right side too, there are two chambers, one upper anterior and one lower posterior. The heart is divided into four parts by grooves, two upper parts called auricles and the two lower ones called ventricles. It is observed that the ventricles are relatively thicker than auricles. The left auricle and left ventricle are smaller than the right auricle and right ventricle. It is observed that the two arteries and two ventricles are separated from each other by muscular partitions. There are two openings in the right auricle side called as superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. In the left auricle, we can observe the openings of pulmonary veins. From the upper part of the left ventricle, a thick blood vessel arises called iota. From the upper part of the right ventricle, pulmonary artery arises. By careful examination, we can also observe the valves on the pulmonary artery and iota. The heart is covered by two membranes called as pericardial membrane. The space between the two layers of pericardial membrane is filled with pericardial fluid which protects the heart from shocks. The blood vessels which are observed on the walls of the heart are called coronary vessels. They supply blood to the muscles of the heart. A total of six blood vessels are attached to the heart out of which two blood vessels are rigid and the remaining four are less rigid. The rigid vessels are called arteries. They originate from the heart and supply blood to various organs of the body. Iota is the largest artery. It supplies oxygenated blood to the body parts. Pulmonary artery is the smallest one. It supplies deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. Veins are the less rigid vessels that bring blood from different parts of the body to the heart. Superior vena cava is present at the anterior end of the right side of the heart. It collects blood from anterior parts of the body. Inferior vena cava is present at the posterior end of the heart. It collects blood from posterior part of the body. 
The left auricle has two pulmonary veins. It collects blood from lungs. The openings between auricles and ventricles are protected by valves. The human heart starts beating around 21st day during the embryonic development. To learn more about this, refer reproduction chapter. If it stops beating, then it results in the death of an animal. One contraction and one relaxation of atria or auricle and ventricle is termed as one cardiac cycle. To start with, let all the four chambers be in a relaxed state. First, the blood from vena cava and pulmonary veins enters into the right and left auricles respectively. Now, the arteries contract and force the blood to enter into the ventricles. After the blood enters into ventricles, the arteries start relaxing and the ventricles start contracting. Due to this pressure of blood in the ventricles, the blood moves into the iota and pulmonary artery. The aperture between the auricles and ventricles are closed by a valve. When these valves are closed forcibly, then a sharp sound lub is heard from heart. When the ventricles start relaxing, the pressure in the ventricles reduces and the blood which entered into the arteries tries to come back into ventricles. But the valves present in the blood vessels get closed in order to prevent backward flow of blood into the ventricles. Now, we can listen to a dull sound of the heart, dub. After the auricles pump the blood, the blood is allowed to enter into ventricles. These sequential events in the heart are repeated cyclically and hence, it is termed as cardiac cycle. The whole process gets completed in approximately 0.8 seconds. The cardiac cycle includes an active phase called systole and a resting phase called diastole of arteries and ventricles. The time necessary for auricular contraction is 0.11 to 0.14 seconds and for ventricular contraction it is 0.27 to 0.35 seconds. Hence, naturally the blood is pumped into the blood vessels at regular intervals. The tissues will not receive the blood continuously. Instead, it flows in the form of forceful stream. For example, when we keep our finger at the wrist, where the artery is passing into the hand, we feel the pressure of the blood moving in it. This is termed as a pulse. The rate of pulse will be equal to the number of heartbeats. The table shown on the screen gives information about the heartbeat of different animals per minute.